And thank you for joining us for another exciting night of elevation. I'm your host, Paul White. Joining me, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And now we go to the ring with our very own Justin Roberts. Your opening contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Bloomington, Minnesota, Julia Hart. Well, Paul. Notice that eye patch that Julia Hart's wearing, Mark. You see that bruise? Man, it's not going away. I think she might want to go to a doctor. And her opponent, Abby Jane. Abby Jane has a nice smile on her face. We don't see Julia Hart smiling very much. She looks like she's here for business. Yeah, Abby looks like the girl next door. There you go, nice spunky attitude. Looks like she's got her fists up. She's ready for a fight. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. She's. Uh, and well. Julia Hart's making this a kickboxing contest. Look at the aggression, Julia Hart, right off the bat, <laughs> grabbing Abby Jane by the hair, slamming her down. Look at that mark on oh Julia Hart's God, face. Man. That's really spreading. Yeah, it's spreading, especially last week. It looked like she was uh, on the hill, but on the men, but I don't know, Paul. Nice like little roll up there, Justin. Uh, look like Abby Jane, nice little quick roll up there. Kind of telegraphed that discus punch. Julia Hart with a leg trip and a throat shove into the mat. Showing that athleticism. Got that cheerleading back. There's a smile from Julia Hart, but at Abby Jane's expense, it looks like. I think she's happy that she was able to do what she wanted to do. Like, she's not had very much uh, resistance from Abby. No, I think so. You think she enjoys imposing her will right now. Maybe that's more of that dark side effect, if you want to call it, maybe, for Malachi Black. There's a chop. You don't see that very often in women's competition, but she really rung the bell on that one. Listen to that smack. That's a pretty good chop. You know, she used to be so nice and so sweet, and this I ever that since a... that black mist to the eye. Yeah, well, that's like you said. Key words there were used to be. We used to be skinny. Well, I, well, I, don't, I don't know, know about, about that. that. That might be a lie, too. My bad. Overstepping. Right now, Julie Hart, there's a nice vicious elbow to the jaw of Abby Jane. She's going to have to come back. She, she's going to have to definitely put up more. Well, there the she is. There's the there's aggression. There's I like the it. There you go. She's getting fired up. Oh, man. And look how quick she Julia Hart shut that down. But just the efficiency of what Julia Hart's doing. She's not expending a lot of energy. There's that athleticism, that cartwheel with a lariat right in the throat. Look at the aggression on Julia Hart. Wow, she has really changed her whole persona. Wow, raking her face down the ropes. That, that's, that's very not Hart. -like. No, that's, that's lack of Hart. That's me. Controlling the head here. It's like some kind of split leg bulldog. Abby tried to defend it, but it, she got too much of it. And the this match, Julia Hart. I'm telling you, Mark, I'm looking at Julia Hart right now. There's a, there's a lot more fierceness about her attitude. There's that cartwheel with that lariat that really rung Abby Jane's bell right there. That's a split leg bulldog, it looked like, driving her into the back. There's your cover, and she knows it's over. There's your winner here on Elevation. The infection is spreading, Julia Hart. On Sunday, May 29th, oh! this is game sound like the world will be watching. This crowd has gone crazy. When all elite wrestling takes over Sin City. In the most anticipated event of the year. AEW truly the home of professional wrestling. From the fight mecca of the world. We promise you an epic night. Because the champions game time. AEW presents Double or Nothing live. I'm next on Elevation, the Factory's Anthony Ogogo. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Hailing from the east of England, weighing 239 pounds, he is a London 2012 Olympic medalist, the governor, Anthony Ogogo. Impressive, Paul. 
Well, he's an Olympic athlete, Mark. You know that, that genre. You're an Olympic athlete yourself. You know the dedication, the training it takes to become selected as an Olympic athlete, let alone have the success that Anthony Ogogo had. It's just unfortunate that basically he's an, an assassin, if you will, for the factory. Yeah, I guess QT made one good decision in his career, and that's getting Anthony Ogogo. And his opponent, Goldie. Well, good for Goldie. He's got some nice biceps. He's going to need them. Look at Anthony Ogogo, though. you got to look at him. He's handsome. He's a fighter. But the thing about it, too, he's, a, you know, he's what you'd call a bad boy yardy. Bad boy yardy. Yeah, huh? he's not a nice lad. He's No, he's not going to help Grandma walk across the street. He's the kind of guy that will knock her over. Yeah, I, I, I can see that in his face. I talked what? to him earlier, and the first thing he said was, you know, I don't know who they're going to put me in there with, but they're going to get a lot of built-up frustration. Yeah, he's got some anger, and you can tell it in his eyes. He's a fighter. Fighters operate on a different level like that, you know? Side headlock. Real tight side headlock, too. Well done. Nice headlock takeover. And for a boxer, this is a guy that, that's been cutting his teeth boxing his whole career. He's looking like a seasoned wrestler. Look how he's grinding on that headlock. That headlock is tight. I mean, Goldie's head's turning pink. I, I appreciate that execution. Goldie backing him to the rope, shoots him off. Oh. Look at the explosiveness of a go-go right there. That just shows his athleticism. Yeah, he's just a bigger man. Right, yeah, just step right through. Nice body slam. Goldie's going to have to mount some offense. Yeah. I think he already hit Randy and the. Better do something right now. Anthony Gogo looks like he ought to be on the cover of a magazine. Yeah, he hit Anthony in the eye. You saw Anthony blinking that eye. Nice arm drag by Goldie. Nice deep. Whoa. And yeah, that, Gogo that, said enough of that. That knee got a little deep, too. Yeah, it's like, oh, I can use my knees, too. This will be fun. Yeah, that, that lower abdominal region. Oh, man, a gl glancing blow to the back. Yeah, hit him right in the kidneys, too. Anthony's mounting his own offense up. He's enjoying himself right now. This is something he never got to do in a boxing ring. He never really got to play with the crowd. That's what makes our sport so much more unique, that crowd participation, if you will. Did you see how he pinned the arm behind him? Somebody's ran been, him in and gave him a form shiver right to been, the solar plate. Yeah, somebody's been coaching him. Even those uppercuts are nice and snug in there. Nice wallop. Well, oh, uh, this is he, not good. This is not good. No, it looks like he's bearing. Is he dropping the tape off? Yeah, this is, he's going bare knuckle. Uh oh, somebody's going to get a soup bone sandwich. This might not be good for. Goldie here. Oh, oh my, my goodness! Lord. What a shot! Did you hear that? I heard it and saw it. We are approximately three meters away, and it was here, like Athlete. it was right next to uh, us. Go, go! There's your winner, Anthony or go, go with a shocking right hand. Covered him with the flag. on elevation in singles competition, Oske Takesta. This next battle is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Osaka, Japan, weighing 231 pounds, Kunosuke Takesta. Mosque Takesta. What a stud this guy is, man. I'm telling you. I love Look at watching. the shoulders on him. The shoulders on him. If you're going to draw up a professional wrestler, this kid is a star. 
Love looking at him. Love the way he competes. And his opponent, Brett Titus. Brett, not a stranger to the ring. Been around a long time. Well, he's gonna need every bit of that experience right now in the ring with Takesta. Oh, a lot of respect right there. I like that. Takesta's all about respect till you cross the line, and then he's gonna fire you up. All right. There you go. Guy trapped the elbow. Takesta had no choice, had to go with it. Nice headlock scissor. Changed his mind with it. Looks Red like Titus that. trying to work the hole. Like, he's I trying like it. to. That's that veteranship coming in. Oh, just a bigger man able to muscle his way out of that. Yeah, I think it's deceptive. People don't realize how big Takesta is. Nice little nip up. Oh, Fireman Carey. All right. Look at this. Look at Titus. Yeah, it, it's funny though. Look how Takesta just was so smooth and calm with that. Like, that's one thing about watching Takesta wrestle. He doesn't get rattled. Keeps his composure, stays real smooth with it. Yeah, he was able to reverse that very easily. Right. A lot of patience. Oh, another reversal. Oh, oh wait a minute. Titus, that big elbow, knows he's in trouble. Really hitting Takesta up here with that back elbow. High boot. Big high boot. What an athlete, man. This dude is so explosive. Wow, I love it. Effortless. Oh! Now that's a DDT. <laughs> Listen. Whoa, man. That should have got more than a one count for my bank. Yeah, Titus uh, being real resilient right there, but I think he, his body was on autopilot. He was on autopilot. That's the thing. Big high running boot in the corner by Takesta. Went for that giant stomp, missed out. High backdrop. Big drop. high backdrop by Titus. Well, it, it, experience is something that you earn. Sure is. And Titus has it, but I'm, I'm telling you, like, I've seen many times so far. This is the second week in a row that I've seen. You know, here's the thing with Takesta. Right now, he's in a little bit of trouble. He's keeping his composure. But like you were saying earlier, he's going to find that resilience. He's going to find a way to implore that athletic ability. He's going to pull through it. I know right now you're trying to say, like, wow, Titus is really bringing the heat to Takesta. But those of us have seen Takesta compete, we know there's a lot of gas in the tank. Yeah, I mean, Kondosaki is one of the guys that I, I feel like is going to be a very valuable piece. Oh, he's a in huge this asset. future of AEW. Absolutely. Very innovative oh. move by Titus here. Don't know if I've ever seen that, Paul. I don't know if I can call it without Excalibur's help. <laughs> Tell you that right now. If, if there is a name to it, Excalibur, Excalibur knows would know. it. Yeah. The guy's like an encyclopedia of wrestling moves. I wonder if he's ever had a date. I doubt it. I doubt it, too. She got to take that mask off sometime. I don't know. Maybe he's doing the world a favor by wearing it. Whoa! Look at the explosive power by Takesta. Two! Oh, I thought Another that was Another kick out. But see, that's a part of Takesta. See how he had his... He never lost his composure. He kept where he was, and when he saw an opportunity, he exploded with it. Love watching this guy wrestle. Oh, we got a little back and forth right here. I think Takesta is tricking Titus into that Japanese-style exchange. Oh, Takesta selling it back. He might be in a little bit of trouble here. Titus firing up. Oh, my goodness. Wow, he really rung Titus's bell on that one. Why throw three if one will work? Good body slam. Oh! That was close. That, that would have was... been a hell of an upset for Titus. Wow, you talk about putting in some really good work, and this is... Titus is Titus is no slouch. I mean, he's been around. We talked about experience and, and resilience. That's hey. two really good qualities experience, in pro wrestling. Hey, experience will get you where talent won't. Uh, you know, that's the thing, because you've been around long enough. You learn tricks. You learn how to breathe. You learn your pacing, you know? And I'm really surprised you see Takesta in this kind of, look at that high German throwaway slam. Wow, he hooked right, real deep around the waist and sent him flying. Oh, high knee, Konosoka. Got him. Here is your winner, Konosuke Takesta.
That's the thing about Takeshi that I love to watch this guy when he competes. He explodes it's out of the depths out of nowhere. He comes up with a running high knee like that, but he's smart enough to know while Red Titus' bell is rung, cover him aggressively, pin him. That's the name of the game, win the match, get to the pay window. There you are in elevation. Your winner, Kanosuke Takeshita. We'll be right back with Tony Nese and Smart Mark Sterling. This contest is set for 0 and 4 with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Smart Mark Sterling from Strong Island, New York. Weighing 224 pounds, he is the premier athlete, Tony Nice. Right now, Mark, we're looking at Smart Mark Sterling, who's on his way to be an agent of the year. I would have to guess in the wrestling industry with signings of like the incredible Jay Cargill and now Tony Nice. This guy seems to have an eye for top quality athletic talent. I, I got a question for you, Paul. What's that? Like, who picks his opponents? Well, I'm sure Smart Mark Sterling does that ahead of time. I mean, right. when you're building a brand, you gotta choose wisely. Right. I see what he's doing. And his opponent, Cheeseburger. Wow. I yeah. like cheeseburgers too, but. <laughs> Yeah, I, you I know wasn't what? expecting that reaction. I wasn't expecting that reaction either. You, listen to the crowd chant cheeseburger. Cheeseburger better have a lot more beef because Tony Nese is going to sling him all over the place. Nah, speaking of beef, look at that bicep, beef. Mark. Yeah. Come on. Oh, well, there you go, cheeseburger. There cheeseburger. you go. Get got a, yeah, got respect piss, yourself. I dig a it. Piss and vinegar. Like, get, get off me. There you go. That's how he got them salty pickles with that cheeseburger. Tony Nese could care less. I don't even think Tony Nese has ever had a cheeseburger. Looking like that, I very much doubt. I doubt it, because if you can look like that and eat cheeseburgers, then somebody lied to me. <laughs> I Come mean, on, look Paul. at the kind of shape that Tony Nese is in. I mean, he's like a sculpted statue. That's just not fair. Look at the agileness of. Cheeseburger. I just like saying his name. Oh, wow, look, at look at the dumps he goes. Oh. oh, my goodness. Faked him out. That oh. might not be the guy to play these games with. We know that Tony Nese has a mean streak a mile wide. Wow, look at, I've never, ever seen this, Paul. I haven't seen it, and I don't know what to call it. He's innovative. Now you see why you got that reaction. Man, I'm a fan now. I'm a fan. I was a fan anyway when I heard Cheeseburger. And oh, Tony knees straight to right the point to with the a throat. Thumb to the throat. Cancel all the silly stuff. You know, I don't think Smart Mark Sterling expected this kind of fan support. Oh, nice hangman. Nor did Tony Nees think that he would wake up this morning and be put in a stretching hole by a guy named Cheeseburger. Hey, I don't know. I've had a lot of cheeseburgers stretch meat back in the day. <laughs> you ever had one of them one pounders? Woo, that stretch your stomach right out. Oh, you're too much. Man, I'm just thinking about cheeseburgers now. It's not a good deal. It's still early. Smart. Cheeseburger smart enough to get out of that corner. See char Tony Nese charging oh, in. Oh, man. There's that jumping high European uppercut. Looks like he caught Cheeseburger right on the chin. Oh, Cheeseburger in a very precarious situation here. Yeah, this is not a really. Oh, oh no, just Tony set it right up. With all that power. Wow, that's right in the bread basket. Could have broken him in half. All right. Listen to the crowd react to Cheeseburger kicking out. Yeah, but Tony needs a smart Paul. He's going right to the right ribs. Back to those ribs. You know, he just knee smashed him on. Now he's squeezing like an anaconda wrapped around his waist. Every time he breathes, he squeezes that. Listen to this crowd get behind Cheeseburger. 
They want him to pull off a miracle. Fight, Cheeseburger, fight. Broke the hole, good for Cheeseburger's out. Tony needs right back to it. Elbow to the face. I love the innovative offense by Cheeseburger. He's, he knows his way around a wrestling ring with those creative holds he applies. Yeah, Tony Nese tried to shoot him off after Looks like he popped the tricep. Nope, misdirect. Big flying elbow. Don't celebrate, Cheeseburger. Get the business done. It's time to cook the fries. Let's go. Oh, he's, this is some kind of Cheeseburger hold. The Cheeseburger slap. My goodness. Wow. Go head on, Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger might have had a better outcome if he had covered that other shoulder. Yeah. We know how important a, a proper cover is in this business. Nice Front sunset flip, flip, roll through. Oh, oh! Spinning back kick. He just right knocked the, the top ear. bun off the meat right there. That's a bunless burger now. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, Paul, that yeah, was a Tony Nese snugger. just made that cheeseburger yeah. keto. Jeez. Wow. That was a snug and knee to the head of Arizona. Arizona. The premier athlete, Tony Nice. Well, he definitely earned that moniker, premier athlete. Do you see how quick he changed gears? Wow, I guess he played with his food enough. Poor cheeseburger. There's your winner on elevation, Smart Mark Sterling's premier athlete, Tony Nice. Up next on elevation, Willow Nightingale. Bundle excitement and energy, that's Willow Nightingale. How can you not just smile when you see her come through the curtain? You can't, her energy is infectious. What a positive attitude. Always smiles, always somebody says hello. And her opponent, Gia Scott. Gia Scott, she looks familiar, Mark. No slouch, we've seen her before, Paul. She is a tough competitor. Uh, martial artist by trade. Well, there you go, nice aggressive collar and elbow tie up. Willow is gonna win that, she's a stronger athlete. Oh, you know what, too trusting. Too trusting, yeah. She'll get over that, she's young. This is a, what, fifth year being in the pro wrestling industry. Nice athleticism, nice power move with that step through slam, very nice. Oh, front roll, there you go. Showing speed and agility. I'd like to see her jump on the cover there. I get you want to fire up with the crowd, but you get those shoulders, that nice lariat. Yeah, you know it feels good to hear the roar and agulation of the crowd. Yeah, you got to hear that roar. Remember, you're here to get to the pay window too, and that means pinning somebody. There you go. Preach. Wow, Preach. that Preach. was a car crash. That was that side angle referee as a blocker. Step through, clean somebody's car. Oh, clock. Paul, down come the straps. <laughs> I feel it coming on. And then front roll. Oh, my God. Wow, that is like a front roll avalanche in the corner. Gia Scott in trouble right now. Great showing by Willow right now. Got that gut wrench. Power bomb. Wow, that didn't take Willow long. She didn't come here to. Banner about it, she got the Ooh, job done. Nightingale. Right here, here comes that front cannonball. Really run. There's that gut wrench salto into her power bomb. Like how Willow hooks the legs to make sure the cover in position. Great cover. Willow Nightingale. Strong showing here on elevation. And so happy. Up next on Elevation Singles Competition, the acclaimed Max Caster with Anthony Bowen's ringside. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making his way to the ring from the Jersey Shore, Zach Clayton.
Zach Clayton there, Mark. Big powerhouse. Yeah, he's, Shore star. He's, uh, he's got a little swagger to his walk. Well, you know, he's he's a big lad, if you will. He's got that reality on the back of his tights. And his opponent, Platinum Max Caster. Yo! Yo! Listen! 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 Yo! 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 The acclaimed is the best, I'm just being honest. I blow this bitch out the water like I'm Leah Thomas. You know my rap's been hitting. You should have sat on the bench like you Ben Simmons. I'm the guy that you can't disturb. I'ma have you crapping yourself like Amber Heard. Your girl wishes you were Paulie D. She told us that you have the smallest D. Oh, my Lord. Wow. That was rude. Philadelphia! The Clint Havara! Oh, Paul, you know what happens when Anthony Bowens goes up. It's getting weird. <laughs> I love, I love Anthony Bowens and Max Caster. I know that they can be annoying sometimes, but I love those two guys. Man, they so entertaining. They it's, are. It's hard to hate them, but they, they find a way to make me hate them anyway. They find a way to get the job done. I like it. They don't lack personality or charisma. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, that's a big I word like for me, charisma. It. Right now, Zach Clayton. Yeah. Collar and elbow tie up with Max Caster. Max going right away to the head. Man, block. look at the power. Big push off. Yeah, Zach Clayton's a big boy. Oh, and oh, he gave the distance down. Back to Max Clayton down, he says. Max Caster showing that athletic ability. Got to hook that leg, Max. Got to get a better cover, Max. Nice headlock takeover. Oh, Zach Clayton with a leg scissor. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's the athleticism of Max Caster. Don't disrespect me, fool. I'll nip up out of a leg scissor. Max is too skilled for that. There's trying right here. Right now, it turns into a brawl for dominance. These two big apples battling at it. Max Caster with a big shoulder tackle. Big backdrop. Sends Zach Clayton flying. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Wow, it looked like a chop to the throat. Showing that power of Max Caster. So yeah, it's time Going to go with the, the high rent district. He doesn't have to jump over the top rope quite that easy. I mean, geez. Yeah, show off. The mic drop. The mic drop. Max Caster hooking in deep. And the kiss goodnight. Platinum, Max Caster. Oh, they did it again. But if it's cool, does that mean it's weird? Yeah, it's still weird. Uh, I think it's cool. Ah, uh, scissors. It's like their handshake, man. It's like that's what the kids are doing these days. I, man, I don't know. It's been I've so been long since I've been a kid. Yeah, come on, man. Coming back with women's tag action, Chris Statland and Anna J face Nyla Rose and Emmy Sakura. <laughs> Cover your face, Paul. Why? Fire! This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Vicky Guerrero, the team of Emmy Sakura, and the native beast, Nyla Rose. Well, Mark, that entrance always burns your whiskers off. Coming to the ring, we've got royalty, the, the royal queen, Emi Sakura. Japanese royalty, if you will, in the wrestling industry. What about Vicky Guerrero? She's not royalty? Hey, you know what? Yes, Vicky is royalty. I will never say anything bad about Vicky Guerrero. I don't want her not. coming after me. You don't want her to hear it if you do. First from Brunswick, Georgia, Anna J. 
Jay. Anna Jay out here. She's from Dark Order. I'm surprised. Usually the Dark Order rolls as a posse like the Wu-Tang Clan. That's right. Let it be said, they rode deep. Business is about to pick up. And her partner from Long Island, New York, Chris Statlander. Come a long way from the Andromeda drama. Yeah, she's definitely changed her tune a little bit from the Andromeda zone. She's gotten a lot more serious about her opportunities and her presence in the ring. She realizes what kind of athlete she is, and she wants to be AEW Women's Champion. I think she has the talent to do it, Mark. Not only the talent, but the strength, Paul. Oh, she strength, is though, arguably though. the strongest female wrestler in this country. Yeah, I would take, I would definitely agree with that 100 percent. Yeah. 100 percent Yeah. And that's speaking, that's saying a lot with Jade Cargill and Nyla Rose. That, that's true, that, but you know, Chris Statlander does a lot of stuff that shows that true core strength. Yeah. That that you know is gifted. It's not trained, it's gifted. Mm -hmm. You know, Anna Jay with a headlock takeover on Emmy Sakura here. Emmy Sakura smart enough, headlock scissors. Anna Jay needs to get out of that right now. It's hard for her to breathe in that. Yeah, she's got to turn over to her knees. Trying to. If she's smart, she can roll over and try to push those knees apart to get your head out. Emmy Sakura is playing around right now. When you got that kind of experience that Emmy Sakura has, you can play those little games. Yeah, she had the arm trap too, so she was actually doing a favor to herself to make sure that Anna's arm stayed in there, but she let her out. Now wow. she's paying for it. She's paying for it. That's what happens when you play with your food. <laughs> I don't know. My food never got to hang around long enough to get played with. <laughs> Ooh. That's that power by Satlander picking Emmy up effortlessly. Emmy floated behind. Oh, nice. Reverse elbow right in the top of Emmy Sakura's head. Oh, she hit the ropes. Has that veteran hooked that rope? Whoa! Yeah, Stadler says, don't break my arm. What's wrong with you? She is so skilled. You she's just, just got so many tricks to pull from, Mark. You know what, man? Like, I don't know if there's anybody in the, in the business today in the women's division that's got more unusual offense as in the soccer. Well, it's creative and it's, it's authentic offense because it's not the typical stuff you see every day. It's years of experience and trial and error and situational offense as well, too. What applies with that experience best here? Look at the power of Nyla Rose doing that standing suplex. Holding on, then a roll through for a second one. Here's your cover. We talked about two of the most powerful athletes in this division, Paul. They're in the ring and together right in now. The ring right now. That's it. Whoa! Look at that athleticism. Look at that high, high drop, drop kick by Statlander, getting Nyla Rose in the corner, which is smart. Running forearm to the chin. Got to have some teamwork right here. Yeah, tagging in Anna Jay. That big high spinning back kick. Nice tag in and out. Anna Jay and Kristen Statlang are working well together. Big high cross body on Nyla Rose. Good teamwork. Drop the elbow right behind it. And yeah, Nyla Rose is too much power. One count kick right out of that. Yeah, they're going to have to start. Oh, Nyla Rose saying Vicky. something wrong with her Come eye. Come on, referee. Oh, that was a bait and switch right there. That had to win one of those plays. If I get in trouble, I'll point to my eye. Pull the ref. See, that's that backstage planning right there. That's what bad people do. Instead of a straight up fair contest, Vicky Guerrero's coaching shenanigans. Shenanigans? Well, I'm part Irish, I can say it. Oh, there's that big forearm lariat. Big cover by Nyla Rose, native beast. That forearm lariat, she brings it through with such authority across the collarbone, just below the throat. Most time knocks her wins out. Look at the display of power. Walking over with her opponent to tag. Oh, Big back backbreaker. Amy Sakura loving everything right now. Nice driving elbow from Nyla Rose's knee. She's got a cover. Not real strong. Didn't Anna play. Jay so smart keeping those shoulders off the mat. Not a lackadaisical pin is going to hold her down. There's Emmy with that Freddie Mercury fire up. 
She loves that queen music, loves Freddie Mercury. Here she comes. Is that big crossbody. Oh, just Man. fold your opponent in half. Double underhook oh, this, here. This don't look good, Paul. Anna Jay smart enough to get out. There's that flexibility by Anna Jay. Knows she's in trouble. Makes a tag to Statlander. And here comes Statlander. Gives now the Rose Ooh. one just because. Oh, man, nice. That was a step through backbreaker back again to Nyla Rose. Statlander's smart enough to know she's going to keep. Look at that power slam. Boy, you talk about being on the go. Statlander is a ball of fire right now. Big high knee. She knows she has to get Nyla Rose out of the picture to avoid the interference. Oh, that was as close as it gets. Anna Jay, she's calling for it. Calling for it. Wait a minute. Nyla Rose just pulled her off. She, referee, get control of this Mike situation. Posey, I'm begging you, get control here, bud. Emmy Sakura with that swing through face plant. Oh, All right, no. this is uh, this is innovative. Oh no. Oh my lord. Boy, that's Lord Lord. Oh, big save by Anna J. That was almost it for Kristen Statland. Oh. Knew she had to get there. Nice counter on the choke slam. Step through. Oh, she got caught. Take that with you. Well, so they're going to double suplex Anna J here. They went no. for it. Double DDT by Anna J. Let's get this party rocking. Anna J is fired up. It's fired up. Looks like Anna G is trying to put on the Queen Slayer. Out the ring they go oh, through the man. second, the top. Big high boot by Kristen Statlander. Oh, uh, you know what? I've seen this before, Paul. This is all she wrote. Bam. Statlander hits her finish. Night fever for the win over Emmy Sakura. Yeah, they, they were able to pull Here's the win off. Here's your winner, Chris Statlander and Anna J. Incredible teamwork by Anna J and Kristen Statlander against two veteran partners in Nyla Rose and Emmy Sakura. Yeah, no help to the referee Posey. Look at the power of Kristen Statlander in control, driving Emmy Sakura headfirst into the mat. There they are, those are your victors. There's your winners here on Elevation, Kristen Statlander and Dark Orders, Anna J. Firing on all cylinders as a team here in AEW. Up next on Elevation, your main event is a 12-man tag team match with Dark Order. Join the Dark Order. This is a 12-man tag team match set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing Stu Grayson, Evil Uno, Alan Five Angels, number 10, Alex Reynolds, and John Silver, Dark Order. I got my card, Paul. We got I'm your a dark card carrying card member of the, dark, of the board. dark board. I love it. I still thought you guys were lying to me. I need to go check that out so I can be a card carrying member of the Dark Order as well. How could you not love the Dark Order? Look at him. Wow. And their opponents, Anthony Bennett, Cordy Mishaw, Michael Law, Eli Issa, Brett Waters, and Jaden Fellow. You know, I was just looking at Tim when he was flexing on the front of that ring. I know you and I are older, so we go to older movies. Remember a movie years ago called The Road Warrior? Master Blaster. No, I'm thinking Lord Humongous. Lord Humongous. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Lord Humongous. I think that's what I'm going to call 10 in the back, Lord Humongous. Just, I don't think he'll mind. Anything that's big and strong, he's fine with it, I bet. Anthony Bennett getting pressed, going for a ride here. Up, oh, all of a sudden oh, now, it's broken down. down. Aubrey's lost control. It's chaos in the ring right now. Aubrey's running for her life. Aubrey's like, don't anybody hit me. 
Wait a minute. Slam party. Slam party. I've never heard that. I love it. Dark Order shut that okay, down real we quick. Get somebody, didn't they? referee, let's go. Who's the legal man? Double dives. All kinds of chaos going on. This could be great. Or... Whoa! Ah, look at the power of 10. Right over the top rope, airmailed him home to his friends. I wonder if he got flyer miles on that. I doubt it. Oh. Gene Valo getting his, oh, Ada Punch, Ada Boot, Ada Cutter into a German. Get out of the ring, son. Run for your life. Ten with a spine buster. He screamed mama, but mama's not here to save you. Uh-oh. Guys. Bang! Nice press. Look at this. The Dark Order has done it again. Dark Order! All that chaos, calamity, and ruckus going on in the beginning. Dark Order settled it down with a slam party and systematically took out their opponents. There's your winners here in this incredible 12-man tag. Main event on elevation. Get your card. Be a member. Dark Order.